Hi everyone, I want to give you some more details about GATE CS and GATE DA. So this is the schedule we are following for GATE CS. Okay, these are this is the order in which we will be completing the syllabus. First, we'll start with computer networks, then operating systems, TOC, compiler design, algorithms, data structures, DBMS, digital, CO, and uh, engineering mathematics, and then aptitude. <clears throat> the reason why we had uh, we have this engineering mathematics at the end is because uh, generally people forget mathematics it is not easy to remember so i just want to do it you know close to the exam at the end so that you will be able to remember the concepts well and all the generally computer science subjects they will sink into your mind well and you will remember them for a long time okay so that is why i have given this order and if there are any changes in the schedule i will inform you in the class okay and coming to gate DA, this is the schedule we are following. Probability, linear algebra, calculus, machine learning, AI, programming and DSA and then uh, DBMS. So this, this is the schedule we are following. Okay. And uh, comparatively syllabus for gate uh, DA will take less time compared to CS. Okay. And now coming to the classes, please note it carefully. Uh, Every day at 7 p.m. there will be class for gate CS. We will be doing it on uh, even Saturdays and Sundays. Maybe once in a while we may not do a class on Sunday, but uh, mostly it will be every day. So remember that classes will start from 7 p.m. every day for gate CS. So that people who are uh, working, who have offices till 6 p.m., they can also attend the classes. And then for gate DA, classes will start from 6 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 6 a.m. So I think for at 6 a.m. everyone is available, right? Okay, and then lecture notes will be provided. You don't have to write the notes uh, for, for the lectures. All the notes will be provided to you uh, completely. A very, very good notes will be provided to you with all the points. Uh, but then uh, <clears throat> having said that, I feel that when you write something you will remember it for a long time while writing you will actually memorize it for a long time so if you want you can maintain your own copy also or if you don't if you think that you don't have time then you can follow the notes that we are giving you lecture notes okay and maybe you can have a short notes the lecture notes will be very detailed all the points will be covered maybe you can write a short notes for yourself and then Practice questions will be provided and test series will be provided. I already told you that. Okay, so these are all the details. And if you have any other details, you comment on the video. I will definitely make one more video for you. Thank you.